It came across some old photos and videos of a project I worked on about 11 years ago. It was a Mazda MX-5 with a mini supercharger fitted to it. When I was selling the car, I took off all of the kit and I made a video to explain all the parts were uh, going to be included in this kit that I sold separately. At the time, people seemed to find it useful just because it was easy to understand what parts you would need to gather if you were going to supercharge your MX-5. So I thought, just to preserve the video, I'll upload it to my channel. Some of you might find it useful. You'll have to excuse the shaky video. This is 11 years ago, so enjoy. The purpose of this video is to show people what will be included in the kit that I'm selling and also to help people who are thinking about installing a supercharger. So I'll just start on the inside. Okay, first up is the ECU. This is a Mega Squirt ECU from Reverend uh, on MX5 Nuts. Um, basically what we have is the, the regular uh, Mazda MX-5 loom, which is converted then to the Mega Squirt unit here. Um, there is one cable taken off here, which goes to the airflow meter. Um, also, there's a connection for a laptop for tuning. Um, there's also a vacuum line here, which goes through uh, the firewall here into the engine bay. I'll describe that in a minute. And the last thing here is the actual uh, air fuel meter itself. Uh, I've put this in a, a BMW E36 clock holder so you get a little cubby here beside it. The uh, the meter actually goes to there's a lambda sensor that goes and replaces the standard exhaust sensor um, as well. Okay I'll start here with the uh, the vacuum lines. So there's a vacuum line that goes from the inlet manifold here up to uh, the side of the engine bay here um, you need to add a T-piece here so this will all be included in the kit and this vacuum line is then run along the back of the firewall comes to another T here this side goes into the ECU as I described a minute ago and through uh, the firewall that's down here and this part here comes in and goes to the bypass valve on the supercharger. Um, I've upgraded uh, the injectors to uh, RX7 injectors which can be seen here in red. Um, there is also a couple of breather filters you need to add so um, just here on the crankcase breather um, and down here just underneath the inlet manifold, same type of breather. There is uh, what's called an IAT sensor, which is temperature sensor, um, is just at the inlet manifold here. Um, the uh, cabling is actually run along the radiator and over here to where the uh, MAF sensor would be connected. So I'll just show you that connection here. So you actually just go into a couple of the pins here on that. Okay, so next up is the actual mount for the supercharger itself. Um, the 1.8 and 1.6 are slightly different. This is the 1.8 version, so essentially it, it attaches uh, to the exhaust studs and to the top here. Um, and it bears most of the weight of the supercharger itself. Uh, there is also a support bar which uh, runs along at the back here and attaches to the supercharger itself and down onto the pulley plate, the back of the pulley plate. Um, the adjustment for this uh, supercharger mount, it can go forwards and backwards because uh, there's elongated holes in the actual mounts here. And then also you can tilt it this way and this way 
by adjusting some of the washers. Uh, this is how I got my alignment spot on, is by adding an extra washer in here. The actual supercharger itself uh, is from uh, Cooper S Works, so it's uh, it's got Teflon tips, holds a bit more boost, and also has a slightly smaller pulley, so it generates a little bit more boost as well. This runs uh, a dual throttle body setup, so this is your main throttle body here. As you can see, this is the main cable that comes in from uh, from the accelerator pedal. So I've got this uh, adapter. Uh, plate and mount on here to actually allow a second uh, cable to be set up which is run along the radiator and up and over to the uh, the inlet on the supercharger so this is a second uh, second throttle body what this allows for is uh, smoother idling and less droop um, it's also good for controlling the noise um, the point to note is that you have to have this cracked open just a little bit by using this adjusting screw here to make sure that you don't uh, you can get you know some of these pipes collapse if you uh, if you don't have that open a tiny bit there's also uh, a blanking plate kit that you get for this second throttle body which uh, basically adds uh, blanking plates onto the areas that you don't need like on this side, I can't, you can't see the other plates actually from this view. Uh, the air filter itself, uh, obviously silicone pipes down to, this is an apexy uh, filter but you can use any sort obviously. Then there is a part of the kit that I bought from TR Lane as well as this mounting uh, plate is also the, the pulley plate here so this replaces um, uh, the existing plate and it's got obviously two extra pulleys on it to keep the tension on the supercharger itself. The belts themselves it's obviously a bit longer I have three spare belts as well that will come with this this one's been running for a couple of months now so doesn't seem to be any issues with it but it's always handy to have some spares um, obviously I'm running an intercooler as well, you can run straight from uh, the hot side of the supercharger straight into the inlet manifold but you'll get a I suppose, more reliable safe power by going through an intercooler so this uh, runs down down the engine bay and around to the intercooler this is by Universal Intercoolers Dan on MX5 nuts and then it runs back up again to run this particular uh, intercooler you need to use uh, a smaller uh, slimline fan for your main radiator fan I decided to keep the air con so I run a second fan here as well obviously the uh, the pulleys and the belts are a little bit longer when you run uh, to keep the intercooler or the um, the air conditioning so you, some people run a shorter belt when they take out the, the air con pump some other I suppose smaller items that because there is this I suppose these extra items the uh, silicone pipes here uh, the bonnet holder the bonnet stay uh, basically of fouling down on top of these so I had to take it out I've put in bonnet lifters instead so I'll include these in the sale there's also one other modification I had to make so the washer bottle is normally positioned here against the firewall I made a small adapter plate just so I can move it over here uh, it doesn't seem to affect it at all there's no issues with heat um, I put, have put on some reflective tape on the side of it just to help with that but this um, mounting plate will be included in the kit as well and that's it
This video is to show all the parts that I'm selling in the supercharger kit. It's for a uh, Mark 1 1.8 MX5. Start off with the supercharger, the TR Lane kit. So that's the outlet and mounting bracket. As part of this also is the dual throttle body and the piping for down to the filter which is also included. All the vacuum hoses are also included as well. The uh, dual throttle body mounting kit and adapter plates and um, the actual throttle body cable itself will be included. There is RX7 injectors. Again the TR Lane uh, pulley plate. There would be that's the belt I was using for the last couple of months, but there's also three spare belts. And then there's the slimline fan here. We then got the intercooler kit. So that's all the mounting brackets and everything for that. And you'll notice on the intercooler is already or on the piping is already the IAT sensor installed. We've then got the air air fuel gauge and controller here. So this is the, the Innovate gauge. Uh, we've then also got the, <coughs> the Lander probe itself and all the cabling and everything. This is uh, the ECU, this is Mega Squirt, Reverend and MX5 nuts. Built this. Uh, there's the breather filters for the crankcase. This is the washer bottle relocator. Uh, as I mentioned, you can't use the regular bonnet stay because it fails on some of the intercooler piping, so uh, these bonnet lifters will also be included. I had to cut the under tray to allow the intercooler piping to uh, go underneath it, so uh, this is no use to me now, so I'll include that in the sale as well. So that's everything.